Hello and welcome to a new series of Optics Trade Debates and Andras and myself, Theodore. We are going to talk about uh, some differences between Pulsar devices, uh, devices today. Uh, so here we have a completely new Axion XM30F, a new model, entry level, the most affordable Pulsar, and the previous model XM30 Key, uh, also Axion. So Andras, what are the main differences? What have had changed? since the release of the new device. Uh, yes, uh, the first difference is in the magnification. The old key model has a 2.5 times magnification, whereas the new model has a three times magnification. Uh, also, the price has been lowered. Yeah, it's no longer two t uh, it's no longer 1290, but 1190. So it's 100 euros uh, cheaper. That's really funny because Poser comes out with a new device, a better device almost every year or maybe in two years and they always lower the prices. So they're killing the market, basically. For their competition, it's really, really hard. Regarding these two devices, the housings are the same. So the housing is made out of magnesium. Yes. And they have interchangeable batteries. The same battery is APS-3. Yeah? APS-3, exactly. But now uh, they've changed the hardware and software. Mm -hmm. uh, so now the battery lasts longer. It used to be four to five hours. Now it's up to seven. Please check our Real Battery Lives series of videos where you can see I would say not claimed, but actually measured battery life. I would still say that the, the fit and finish, the build quality, the build material and so on, they're still in the class of their own. There is no other competitor that would come on this level, especially not in this price class. So they, they still stand out. They do. Apart from that, in form size and everything else there, the devices are completely Yeah, completely the same, the same. The, except for the button. Mm -hmm. So we have now the power on off button is now blue. Uh, which suggests that uh, it can use Stream Vision 2. So yeah. it's now compatible with Stream Vision. This one wasn't. And also it can take pictures and record videos. The so old one wasn't capable of doing fully this. Fully featured device. So there is nothing that would be missing for this device because the keys, they only had key features. That means exactly. no video, no photos, no nothing. With the new, they have everything inside. Of course, they even have the new AMOLED display. The mm -hmm. old ones had LCOS which was uh, 960 by 720 pixels. Uh, now it's AMOLED. Uh, but it's are, a little bit smaller, yeah? It's a little bit smaller. There are fewer pixels. It's 640 by uh, 400, according to the Pulsar page. Mm -hmm. uh, but it can now withstand lower temperatures. Yeah, it works down to minus 25. Exactly. Yeah, without minus any lag. It is true that when we tested these devices for the first time in Lithuania, uh, at Pulsar premises where this new device is made, so it's made in EU, that's also really important features because there is no other competitor below 2,000 euros that will be made in, in Europe, except Pulsar. Um, what we were shocked that I was a little bit skeptical, a smaller display, and I thought maybe the image quality will be so-so, but in reality, when you try it, it's you, you have a noticeable upgrade in the image quality compared to the previous device. Yeah. And it's like Pulsar says, you get more for less. You yeah. pay less and you get more features. Uh, it's no longer a key device. So no. they remove the key. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say it's no longer next to the name. Now it's just XM30F and that's it. Yeah. Uh, still, I would say probably in this price class, if you look at fit and finish and the build quality and so on, it's servicing made in EU and so on, it still has no real competition. That's right. exactly so. Yeah. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope this uh, comparison was useful to you. If you have any additional questions, please use the comments below or send us an email. Take care.